the Platte River has a unique history with the people of the Great Plains. Uh, the water that comes across this state slowly percolates down into the ground to a layer that's called the Okalala Aquifer. It's a huge underground sea and the communities that sprung up across Nebraska and the agricultural industry heavily relies upon this water resource. So the Platte River is an important recharge point for that Okalala Aquifer. So it's important that all of us work together in Nebraska to conserve this, this water resource. We're very fortunate as an organization to have passionate conservationists that invest in our Platte River programs and they fully realize that we're impacting the landscape for waterfowl but they really appreciate how we do it by partnering with private landowners, government agencies and other nonprofit organizations. We can't do it alone. We need the partnerships and Nebraskans here really care about this unique resource and together we're going to make a difference for future generations. Uh, my name is Hod Cosman. Uh, I'm uh, third generation in this, uh, in this valley of western Nebraska along the North Platte River. What's really important about these lands and for us in, in our approach is that they, these lands remain working landscapes. The farmers and ranchers that ranch these or farm these grounds continue to do so, and, but just with steward, stewardship protocols. But they find that with good stewardship, their yields are better, <laughs> their rates of gain are better, and so we really have a great working re relationship with our uh, farming and ranching families. Ducks Unlimited has an extensive uh, program here in Nebraska along the Platte River, North Platte River, primarily privately owned. And so in order to conserve this habitat, we, you know, we have to work with private landowners. And that's everything from recreational owners to uh, ranchers to egg producers. And really what Ducks Unlimited does works with all those uh, variety of landowners. My family and I decided to uh, do a conservation easement with uh, Ducks Unlimited. You know, we sat down as a family and started to understand that this is, you know, this isn't going to be open for the public, that it would still be for the family. And that was the biggest thing for us, you know, is it's kind of a getaway place that the family can enjoy f from grandparents down to grandkids. And the biggest reason we, you know, decided to, to go with that was because also the being able to preserve the ground, increasing the, the forage, I think it's done all of that so far. During spring migration, you can get thousands of birds using even one acre at a time, depending on these, uh, where they are on the Platte River or the Rainwater Basin. So it's, it's a smaller landscape, but it's more birds per acre, and that's why we, we think every acre that we can protect or restore is just that much more important, because we've seen the evidence, we see the birds, we, and their utilization of these different wetlands that we protect and restore, and even the grasslands too for grassland birds and others. The cranes utilize this area because of the habitat that the Platte River creates in this area. It's the wide open landscape, the wide channels, the shallow water, um, great roosting habitat, great wet meadows for foraging. Um, everything comes together in this area. That's why it's become such a, a unique place and that the birds um, come here annually on their spring migration. The Crane Trust was an organization that was uh, developed for the protection and maintenance of habitat for the endangered whooping crane. Since then, we have encompassed all species and we're really focusing on the ecological resilience of the Platte River in this area of the Big Bend. So Audubon's all about birds. Uh, we've been here on the Platte River since about 1971 raising awareness of the Platte River and America's greatest migration with the million sandhill cranes that come through every spring. Uh, we, op we operate here on Rose Sanctuary, have about uh, 1,500 acres that we manage for cranes and other wildlife. And then we work with partners all up and down the river to create habitat, 
uh, protect habitat, restore habitat, um, and just protect the river for cranes and other wildlife. Well, wetlands obviously are important from a fish and wildlife habitat standpoint and when you're talking something like the Central Platte you have huge numbers of sandhill cranes that use that area and waterfowl and, and many other types of water birds so from a from a wildlife habitat standpoint wetlands are very important but uh, it's also important to recognize that wetlands play a vital role in things like improving water quality they're great filters to to improve the quality of water that flows through a wetland they can help with uh, flood control and wetlands they can recharge the groundwater which is very important here in Nebraska and they're also just great places to go and recreate. So when Audubon got here in the 1970s, really nobody was paying attention to the migration of the birds and the river. And the river at that time was um, in peril. Uh, right now, even now, 70% uh, of the water is gone before it gets here. 90% of the original open sand channel habitat is gone. The Nebraska Environmental Trust was established in 1993 and our first grants were given away in 1994. We've given away about $328 million all across the state of Nebraska to about 2,300 projects. We fund uh, water, air, soil, habitat, and recycling. And so we give money away through a grant program. Once a year, people apply for grants, and we give grants out to individuals, nonprofit, for profits, anyone can apply for a grant with the Nebraska Environmental Trust. Now, the key to the success of uh, delivering conservation projects here in Nebraska has really been the uh, partnerships that have been developed with not only our private landowners scattered throughout the state, but our, our conservation organizations such as DU. Um, Ducks at the Limited has been one of our longstanding partners since, uh, since the early uh, 80s. And uh, we've been working with Ducks Unlimited on a variety of different uh, habitat restoration projects scattered not only on the North Platte, the Central Platte, but in the rainwater basins as well. What's great about working with Ducks Unlimited is first it's, it's exciting to work with people that have such passion for what they do. And then the, the Ducks Unlimited attracts really great people, great biologists, great engineers. They're able to get, get uh, projects done. And, and that's, those are resources that, that Platte River Basin doesn't have to pay for. They're our partners and they come with, with bringing value to our partnership. And so uh, it really is great. And then you look at the vision of Ducks Unlimited. And it's all about water, having water when you need it, where you need it, um, and, and water resources in the continent. Not just here, not just there, but a continental approach to water resources. Really, really important to the future. So organizations like Ducks Unlimited are extremely valuable to all phases of uh, conservation and people's lives.